In this lesson, we're going to drive a stepper motor with an L298N driver module. So the stepper motor we're going to use is this one here. This is a NEMA 23, and this one was salvaged from an old photocopy machine. This has six wires coming out, and this is actually a unipolar um, stepper motor, which is a, um, a hybrid stepper motor, which can be driven in bipolar mode. So we're going to be driving this in the bipolar mode in this lesson. You'll see that we have the six wires here and you would have to identify with your wires on your stepper motor which wires are which. On this particular one here, the black and white wires are the common wires for each of the, two, the coils on this um, stepper motor. So we're not going to be using these two wires at all. So they can just be put aside. But what we'll have is our other wires will be connected up in sequence to our driver module. So we'll have the wires one, two, three, four, all connected up. And then our, our pins coming off from the driver module, one, two, three, and four, that will go into pins eight, 9, 10, 11 on our UNO and with our um, the enable pins here and here um, we're not actually going to be using pulse width modulation with the stepper motor um, but what we need to do is we need to set those pins to high so we put the jumpers back on here and here so that the internal five volts reference is enabling both of those pins up to high so that the current can flow through the, the each of the H bridges. So let's have a look at, at this in action. So hook it up. So what I've got here is I've got the stepper motor driving through a two revolution each way, forward and reverse. And this is what a stepper motor looks like on the inside. You can see here on the rotor, we have a whole lot of teeth and we've got a double stack here. So a double stack of teeth on the rotor. And then for the stator, we have the same thing. It's a bit hard to see, but in here, all of these plates here have teeth same as on the rotor here and then we've got the coils behind them so each of those coils belongs to a phase that um, will drive this um, stepper motor forward and what happens is when one of the or well, one set or one phase of the coils is energized it attracts the teeth on the rotor here and pulls it one step forward Okay, so here we have the code that we're going to use to drive our stepper motor using the L298N motor shield. And this code here was once again written by Tom Igo. And this particular sketch can be found under the examples and then under the stepper library here. Uh, and this one is called Stepper 1 Revolution. You can see that there are four different examples within this library. So you can also check those out and see what those do. Uh, so just going through this code here, you can see at the top here, we need to include the stepper library here, stepper.h. Uh, so that has all of the code needed to drive that stepper. And under that, we create a stepper object and this is where we also set up the pins so we've got the pins in this particular case 8 9 and 10 and 11 and then in our setup here we have our my stepper object once again and we set the speed so you can have a play around with this too so this one's set at 60 rpm but you can adjust that up and down just to um, experiment with the speed there 
um, we are using the serial monitor here so we're going to begin the serial communication underneath and then in our loop we first of all print the direction to the serial um, monitor and then we uh, start our stepper step so we here we call the function step from our stepper library with our stepper, stepper object and in within that we uh, using this variable here, steps per revolution times one. So I didn't actually go over that one, uh, but the steps per revolution, so you can see this is a constant int, so it's an integer that, that's not going to be changed throughout our code, and we've got it set here to 200. So what you would do is change this depending on the number of steps on your stepper motor. So if your stepper motor is a 48 step stepper motor, you would put 48 in here. Uh, in this particular case with my stepper motor, it is 200 steps, so I can leave that for 200. Um, and so we have this steps per revolution, which in my case is 200. So it's going to give us 200 steps times 1, so which will be 200 steps. Um, in the video, I, I set that to, I think, it was 2 or 4. So it would give me, if I put a 2 in there, it's going to give me, obviously, 400 steps, which will give me 2 revolutions. And then underneath that, we have the same thing, but we have a little negative sign here so it will take us back in the opposite direction so we've got the stepper motor going one direction for one revolution and then back the opposite um, direction okay so let's uh, load this up and see what it looks like so if we load up the sketch and then okay so let's have a look at the serial monitor And you should see the words clockwise and counterclockwise appearing here. And you should be observing that your stepper motor is following this sequence as well. And here we're using the keys L298N driver shield. So this is much the same as the L298N module, but it's in the shield, shield form. And so it stacks directly on top of the Arduino Uno. Here, the jumpers for the enable pins here and here, they should work the same way as they did on the module, but for some reason I couldn't get them working. So I had to actually uh, write that into the code. So it should be that when you change those jumpers across, it will just reference the five volts coming from the, um, the board itself. It might, have something to do with the the fact that this jump is not on i'm not sure but um i'm going to check that out in a later video um, but for now um i had to write it in the code so i'll show you what that i did there in a minute but let's just have a look at this in action Okay, so just looking at the code for the keys shield here, uh, this is exactly the same. The only difference is that the, the pins are different here. So for the keys shield, you need to use pins 8, 11, 12, and 13. That is for the in 1, 2, 3, and 4. And um, we need to set up the uh, enable A and enable B pins to ensure that the 5 volts is, is running through. So set up these two variables here for enable A and B, pins 9 and 10, and then underneath that set these as outputs within the um, setup uh, code here. And then under that I uh, write them both to um, high using the digital write function. So that will ensure that 5 volts um, is outputted um, via those pins there um, to enable the um, current to flow through both of the H drive shields to uh, ensure the, the motor coils are energised.